remember back in the day being the biggest FaZe fan ever. I desperately wanted to be a part of the team. I desperately wanted to be known for being just a sick ass sniper on Call of Duty. But as Call of Duty has faded out into what it is currently today and me just gradually shifting away from the game and FaZe becoming what it currently is, I have become sort of apathetic towards both things, both towards Call of Duty and FaZe Clan. And in this video, I could obviously talk about any number of things between the CSGO Wild scandal or the lawsuit that they had with Tifu or any myriad of other scandals that they've had from 2015, 2016 to now. But what today, what I really want to talk about is the recent announcement of them kicking certain members from the team and only keeping a certain select few members. I think it was around like, I think 15 people that they had kept about two weeks ago. I don't really know what else to say other than I think a lot of the people that they decided to kick was not the smartest decision in the world because the, the members that they decided to kick were members who were either extremely loyal to the team and stuck around even though they had offers from other people, agony that the said this especially or were members that were very critical to the team and that made it what it was today like blaze or blaziken as he was known back in the day because he was a part of the face house in new york back in the day in like 2016 era like basically the era where people consider it to be the peak of phase clan he was in the phase house along with the other owners of phase back in the day and some other people that were there as well and you wouldn't have FaZe Clan if it wasn't for Blaze, and now he's just not a part of the team anymore. He doesn't seem too shaken up about it, too broken up about it, because now he has this other thing going on. But I just thought that that was a really strange decision to make, and I'm not really entirely sure why they decided to go ahead and kick him. And all this to say, by the way, that I don't even disagree with the idea of them getting rid of certain members from the team. Because I think there were a lot of members that just didn't even make sense to be on the team. Like, if you look at like their YouTube channel, fucking Epic Whale. Who the fuck is Epic Whale? I think another thing that was also very strange when I learned about it was the fact that certain members weren't notified that they were going to be laid off from the team until about like maybe 12 or 24 hours before the, the day that they had made their announcement or the fact that they didn't even get notified that this is even going to happen like Linksy, longtime member of FaZe Clan didn't even get like a phone call saying that it was going to happen Santana, another member for a little while tweeted how is everything going and he just tweets oh shit because he realizes that stuff is going down and he realizes that he's no longer part of FaZe anymore and I just think that was a very strange thing to do especially for certain members just how do you not even notify that some of your members aren't even a part of the team anymore especially considering the fact that they were doing stuff for you and they were actively trying to promote the brand and stuff like that weird it was a weird thing to do i'm not really entirely sure why they decided to do that it kind of seems like an asshole thing to do maybe they had some reason behind it but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day ultimately though all this is to say, you know, th they had their lawsuits, they got delisted from the NASDAQ and all that, and now they've kicked a lot of members. A lot of members who didn't really need to be kicked. I don't really agree with a lot of the members I decided to kick, but all this to say, at the end of the day, I just don't care anymore. I don't feel the need to want to give a shit about this anymore. I don't give a shit about FaZe Clan as a team anymore because they they aren't a gaming team anymore. They aren't what I had grown up knowing them to be. They aren't this Call of Duty sniping team anymore or trickshotting team anymore. They don't really do gaming. Gaming isn't something that they truly are passionate about anymore. What they want to do is more in real life stuff, which I was fine during the stuff in the FaZe house because they still came off as being very genuine and they had very unique personalities and they bounced off of one another in a way that I had never seen before at that time. That era has come and gone and I just, I can't be asked to care about a team that for a long time, for many years, just didn't really care about its fans anymore, even when they would say the contrary. And then you add on top of the fact that they add in certain members who are very strange and don't really seem like they actually fit in the inclusion of being a part of FaZe Clan. And then some of the other members also have been shown doing some really, really strange sexual harassment stuff recently, like towards 
I think her name's Kaylee. She was a more um, now former phase member. And one of the members, I think, like, Black Boy Max was on live stream saying some really weird stuff towards her. Was about to tweet some really strange stuff towards her and even in her chat room when she was alive. Very odd people to be, have, be a part of your team. The overall decision of making this huge life-changing decision and a potentially company-defying decision by getting rid of so many members of your organization but not notify any of them and then not even say anything to the public besides, oh hey, we're rebooting the brand, banks got the passwords back towards the accounts, and potentially some crazy shit's gonna happen in the future. No one knows what they have in store. Maybe they will actually have a comeback and they'll turn things around and they will do great things. And I hope they do. But do I care to see it? Do I care for the success? Not really. And I had tweeted something towards uh, Kaz, or former Red Gandhi of Red Reserve. Uh, rest in peace, Red Reserve. And this is what I said. I've pretty much accepted that the phase I once enjoyed and loved is never coming back. They can try to make a comeback, but it won't succeed. When I saw that they kept Jev, that's what solidified to me that phase needs Jev more than Jev needs phase. Jev is pretty much the only phase member for a long time, like even since like Mono for 2019 and prior, that people universally loved, which is kind of strange because if you're a real fan, you know that for the first initial couple of years when Jeff was a part of FaZe, a lot of people didn't really like him because he wasn't really seen as like a Call of Duty sniper. He was just seen as a guy who rages at the camera, but little did they know that the uniqueness of Jeff's videos and personality and the, and the authenticity of his content and who he is as a person is what made him stand out beyond any of the other members. And Jeff is a creator that I have always been emotionally attached to. I have related to in a lot of ways. And I'm I'm so proud of where he's come since first joining FaZe. And I don't think he even needs to be a part of the team anymore. But all respect towards him, he still wants to be a part of it. He still wants to see and be a part of the future of FaZe Clan and better luck towards him in res total, total respect towards him. If he wants to be a part of that, it's totally up to him. And I'm not gonna disrespect him for that. But do I think that he needs to be a part of the team to be successful? No, I think he's been long since past that. I don't think he needs to be even, even be uploading Call of Duty content. He only uploads it because he still just enjoys playing Call of Duty, which again, all respect towards him. I don't like the game and franchise anymore, but if he still does, more power to him. But am I gonna watch it? Probably not, and probably only occasionally so just to see what he has to say about whatever fucking UFC fight that's coming up or something, but mostly I'm going to be checking into some of the other content that he has on the channel, like his Elden Ring playthroughs and stuff like that, which I really, really enjoy. FaZe is kind of like in a rough spot right now, and not really sure what's going to happen in the future. I hope for the best, I really do as a former fan of FaZe Clan, but do I really care just be a part of the journey and see what happens in the future with them. No, I'm just I'm just going to move on and do my own thing. Like I have been for a few years now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say. That's all I really want to say about this because this has been kind of lingering in my mind for a little while now for the past couple weeks and I finally have my thoughts out there and if anyone cares to hear it, obviously they can just watch the video. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about the entire situation. Uh, let me know what you think about FaZe Clan down below. Let me know if you have high hopes for them, if you still want to be a part of their journey and see them succeed in the future. Uh, let me know what you think they have in store and, and, and what you think the future phase is actually going to be because I have no fucking idea and I don't really care all that much anymore. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let's